at. Northside and Gary on the score. Yeah, I just want to make a comment about something that one of you said about the quality of education in Gary, Indiana, a few minutes ago. What? You were talking about Dominic Neal. Oh, the, the, the crap that I read, that was a listener who sent that in, yes. Because uh, you've, got a, you've got an anchor at uh, your sister station that's a graduate of one of the high schools in Gary. Who cares? Well, I don't think, I don't think uh, an entire city and people who are from there or formerly from there would appreciate a comment like that. Sir. Who cares what they think? Okay, it's your show. And it wasn't even something I said. I read something a listener said. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. So long. Go away. Somebody said something that somebody might not like. You new here? Hey, I was going to say, apparently he's never heard the show before. Exactly. Somebody made fun of a city? Somebody said something on this show somebody somebody won't like. Somebody took something out of context, misrepresented, oversimplified, exaggerated, or was just plain unfair. Don't you understand? Have you never heard this show? Yeah, and Herb just said, uh, you're going to defend Gary. Pick your battles better. (laughs) Yes, seriously. It's it's one thing if we're ripping the educational system in, like, Kenilworth or something. How dare you make fun of the education system in Gary, Indiana? How dare you make fun of this third world city? The armpit of America. We, uh, I'm from Greenbow, Alabama, <laughs> and I swear to you, they got the best schools in the country. Wait, people in Jacksonville make fun of Gary. <laughs> I heard you say people in Mississippi are fat and stupid. Oh, wait a second. Forget that. <laughs> Strike that. You see, every year, or like three times a year, there's a separate announcement that everybody in Mississippi is fat and stupid, right? Because it seems like it's more than once a year. Well, once again, there's always the grim brush. And once again, the rankings for fat and stupid are out. And <laughs> congratulations to Mississippi. They're extremely fat and also quite stupid. And then later on, there's some other survey that's done. Like there's a public survey and then a private survey. And then they hire some firm. And, and then there's out. a public slash private survey. And then and right, the, the combination public private survey. And then there's, there's independent confirmation that, yes, people in Mississippi <laughs> are fat and stupid. Although some more stupid than fat. And that's what's changed. Right now, David Faraday <laughs> is thinking to himself, who are these morons and how did they get on no, the radio? No, sorry. Once you admit you've been listening for three hours, you you, you have to cease now, wondering. And no. now it's like four and a half. Now it's at least four and I'm a half. I'm sure he's out of the car by now and eating cheese curds somewhere in as long Madison. As, he's not, as long as he's not on a bicycle. He's had bicycle trouble in the past. He had a really bad I bicycle know. accident. It was, it was ugly. Yeah. 